Hi, and welcome back to my channel. Last time we've talked about how MongoDB is different than RDBMS or relational databases. And we also talked about indexing. So now it's time to move things more further and introduce you to GreedFS and how it does store documents and files in MongoDB. So several applications involve file management system and have file storage as an important feature for engineering. GridFS is the MongoDB specification for storing and retrieving large files, video files, etc. It is kind of a file system to store files inside of MongoDB collection. So GridFS divide the files into chunks and then store each chunk of data in a separate document, each of maximum size of 200, 25k. By default, GridFS uses two collections, FS files and FS chunks, to store the file, metadata, and the chunks. Each chunk is identified by its ID, unique, ID object ID field. The FS file serves as parent document. The file's ID field in the FS chunk document link the chunk to its parent. When you need the file back, MongoDB will simply stream the file back to you. A great way to introduce you to MongoDB GridFS is to start from Mongo files binary that is included with the install file. Now, if you recall the bin folder that we used in the first course, what we want here is the file Mongo files, and we can use it to take out all the files out of GridFS. To use this, we can simply do Mongo files then we can provide a database. So I will call the database right after. And I say, I want to list all the content. And I also say quite because I want to have a nice formatted output here. So you'll see here all the files that I have in my images database. To better illustrate this, let's move to MongoDB Compass. As you can see over here, there is the images database. By the way, you can also find it on the collection folder on the exercise files. Check it out if you want to work with this database instead of creating your own. So as you can see, there is the FS files collection that include a representation of documents that we saw earlier. So we have image one, image two, image three, and the rest. There are a few things that MongoDB adds automatically when you add files to GridFS. That includes the length of the file, the chunk size, which has to do with how it breaks up the file, the upload date, and the file name. The FS chunk collection will actually show the broken up data for each file. This field ID represents a link over the files. So this object ID would match the file name in the FS file. Now, in this case, all these images are below the limits of document, which is actually 16 megabytes. If the file were bigger, say for example, large documents or videos, you will see more chunks for each file. Now, how do we get files out of the GridFS? Well, most of the time, you will use Mongo client library like Python, PHP, or Node.js here, we will still use the Mongo file command itself. So you can copy the Mongo file into your directory or the directory you are working at so that you can extract all the documents in that directory. In here, I will work on the bin directory. However, if you want to choose another folder, then the process will be the same. So I go ahead and type Mongo files, and then I'm going to say get. And let's say I want image one dot gpg. And then I need to tell it again, the name of the database I'm getting it from, which is images. And then it say connected and it finishes writing the file. So now if I do a listing here, I get to see this file images in my directory. So now what if I want to store files in GridFS? Well, first, why don't we upload an image that has something to do with our movies? I just copied an image from Game of Thrones to this directory right here. 
So we'll try to upload it into MongoDB using GridFS. So all we have to do is use Mongo files. And this time we say put, tell it the file we want to store. And again, the database we want to put that image into. And again, it says that it's connected and added the file. Now let's run the listing again. And you can see that our uploaded image was added. We can also go to MongoDB Compass, refresh, and we can see that our Game of Thrones image was added. Now let's try another type of files. For this, we are going to refer to the MongoDB book on our folder. I'll just copy it first. We bring back the book into this folder and we have it in our directory, this PDF file. So now I'm going to add this to MongoDB as well. Same as before, I'm going to use the same command with some minor changes. And it says the file was added. Now to check if this file was inserted, let's go ahead and do the listing again. And you will see right here that the file was added. Now again, let's go ahead and check that at MongoDB Compass and we do refresh and we can see that the PDF file was added. If we go to FS chunk, we can see that we have a lot of chunks in here because that file is more bigger and MongoDB broke it up into multiple chunks. To delete that file again, we can simply use the command delete and we can use it as follow. So Mongo files, delete, and the name of the PDF file, and again, the database name. And it will let us know that the document was successfully deleted and all instances of Aureli MongoDB are deleted from GridFS. Lastly, let's try to insert a file in GridFS using Python instead. So first you can see import PyMongo and import GridFS library. And then we will connect to MongoDB and to GridFS. And we will tell it what the file name is. And we are going to list all the files and read out from the database the content we just created. So let's run this. So first you will see all the files that we have on our database images. And you can also see the file that we just added. More, you can see the content of the last file. So that was it for this week tutorial. We are getting closer to the end of this course. Next week, we will discuss how to integrate MongoDB in programming languages like Python and R. Don't forget to leave your comment in the comment section below and hope you enjoyed it.